Homo sapiens reached France around 30,000 years ago. The cave paintings of Lascaux and Garias, as well as the Karnak stones, are the few remains of local prehistoric activities. In 600 BC, Ionian Greeks from Phocaea founded the colony of Massalia, present-day Marseille, on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, making it the oldest city of France. Covering large parts of modern-day France, Belgium, Northwest Germany, and Northern Italy, Gaul was inherited by many Celtic and Belgic tribes, whom the Romans referred to as Gauls. The Gallic Empire ended with Emperor Aurelian's victory at the Battle of Chalons in 274 AD. In 486 AD, Clovis I, leader of the Salian Franks, defeated Sergius and subsequently united most of the northern and central Gaul under his rule. After his death in 511, his sons inherited part of the land, so four kingdoms emerged, centered on Paris, Orleans, Soissons, and Reims. Time, the borders and numbers of Frankish kingdoms changed frequently. By this time, Muslims had conquered Hispania and Septimania, which became part of the Islamic Ivory, were threatening the Frankish kingdoms. France was a very decentralized state during the Middle Ages. Many dynasties ruled France during the Middle Ages. The Capetian dynasty successfully unseated the Carolingian kings. The late direct Capetian kings were considerably more powerful and influential than the earlier ones. In 1477, France and Habsburgs began a long process of dividing the rich Burgundian lands, leading to numerous wars. France got engaged in the long Italian wars which marked the beginning of early modern France. Throughout the years, France fought a lot of wars. Economic historians call the era from 1475 to 1630, the beautiful 16th century, because of the return of peace, prosperity and optimism across the nation, and for the steady growth of the population.